Hey there guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be doing a quick unboxing and first impressions on the Motorola Moto E. So this is a new phone released this year uh, back in June. Uh, this is on Boost Mobile. Uh, from Boost Mobile, it runs $119. However, um, I did get this one on sale from Walmart for $69. So definitely be on the lookout for deals. They do offer this on a bunch of different carriers as well. And they offer an unlocked version for $149.99 on Motorola's website. They do have a sale right now on that uh, for $109. So uh, if you're interested in this, I'll leave a link to that down below. So taking a quick look at our package here, on the front we have our Boost Mobile uh, logo, we have Data Talk and Text Unlimited, we get some specs on the phone, name of the phone, picture of the phone right there on the side, some uh, copyright and all that good stuff on this side. On the opposite side, it says no service contract and Boost Mobile. On the back, we get some more information here. So on here, it says 6.2 inch uh, HD touchscreen, 3,550 milliamp hour battery with talk time up to 34 hours, 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor, a 13 megapixel and two megapixel main sensor on the back and a five megapixel front camera. This does have 32 gigs of storage and two gigs of RAM, runs Android and has 4G LTE. So let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look at what we so get. This box is kind of strange. It has kind of a different box than I'm traditionally used to with prepaid phones. So you have to uh, undo the back, which has got a lot of adhesive on it. So inside of our boost box, we get a Motorola box, which is kind of interesting. And uh, this just tells you what it includes. So Moto E, charger, cable, guides, and SIM tool. So let's go ahead and open this up here. So right up here front and center, we get the phone itself. So we get the phone right here in that midnight blue. We'll put that off to the side for just a moment and take a look at what else we get in the box. All right, so uh, we also get in the package here a legal safety and regulatory information pamphlet. We get a SIM card tool right here. You get a charging brick, this is only five watts, and then we get a micro USB to USB-A uh, charging cord. All right, and taking a look at the phone here, let's go ahead and take it out of its package. Just rip that off there. So we have this nice midnight blue here. All right, just taking a quick look at the exterior of the phone here. Uh, you can see we have a beautiful 6.2 inch display. This is a 720p resolution. Uh, at the top here, we do have our teardrop notch with a five megapixel front facing camera. We have the earpiece integrated right above it there. At the bottom, we do have kind of a large uh, chin um, in here, but still a nice size screen here. Taking a look at the back here, you can see we have um, an integrated fingerprint sensor right here in the Motorola logo, so it looks really nice. And on the back we have those two cameras, so you have the 13 megapixel main sensor, 5 megapixel, or I'm sorry, 2 megapixel uh, sensor as well as LED flash. And uh, again, this is plastic, not glass, however it looks just like glass, it looks really nice and a really nice midnight blue color. Taking a look around the phone here, uh, this is plastic also, and it is also blue, has a nice sheen in the light there. You can see we have our volume rocker right here. We do have a power key that is textured, really nice there, so you can determine uh, the button in the dark if you need to. Going around the side here, you can see we have a speaker at the bottom, micro USB, microphone right here. On the opposite side, we have our SIM card tray right there and the hole to open that there. And then on the uh, top right here, we have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack as well as another microphone. So the exact resolution of this display is uh, 1720 by 1520 pixels. It's a 19 by 9 aspect ratio and has a 271 uh, pixel per inch density. Uh, it does include Android 10. We do have the Android 10 gestures here and it has a Qualcomm SDM 632 Snapdragon processor, uh, so it's octa-core, Adreno 506 graphics, and uh, this has 32 gigs of storage on board, 2 gigs of RAM, and a 3,550 milliamp hour battery. All right, so out of the 32 gigs that comes on this phone, out of the box, you get 13.13 gigs of storage available to you, and the rest is used for the system as well as apps. Now, taking a look at the apps that are included here, uh, we do have mostly Google apps. However, I can see a couple of little bloatware apps that uh, you might want to get rid of if you can, and we'll check that in just a sec. So we do have Amazon there that's installed by default. Facebook is installed by default. Uh, mostly Google apps, though. We have a Motorola, we have a Moto app right there, My Boost, obviously, uh, this is a Boost phone, your voicemail app there. Um, aside from that, not a lot. Let's see if we can uh, uninstall the Facebook app. 
and it looks like we can uninstall it, so that's good. So you can get a little bit more space there if you don't use Facebook. And let's check the Amazon app also. Now Amazon is only to be disabled, so you cannot uninstall Amazon. And let's see if you can delete the Motorola app, probably not. That one can only be disabled also. So luckily you can uninstall some of these things. Oh, Prime Video is also here. Let's see if you can uninstall that. Uh, let's see, App Info. So that can only be disabled also. So that's unfortunate. So you do have the Amazon apps are integrated in there and you can't get rid of those. So you can only disable those. So you can't get your space back, but you can uninstall Facebook, which is nice. All right. And just want to give you a quick sample of how the speaker on this sounds. Uh, so this does not have stereo speakers where it would come out of the earpiece as well as the bottom. It just comes out of the bottom, uh, but we'll go ahead and give you a sample. So this will be at full volume on here. So sound is decent on here, uh, not not the greatest, not the loudest, um, but should be fine for if you're watching TV shows or um, taking calls on speaker. Alright, just checking out social media to see how things run here. We'll check out Instagram real quick, see how long that takes to load. Loads pretty quick. Scrolling isn't too bad, things are loading pretty quickly in the background there. So pretty nice. And then if we want to take a photo here, we can go to the photo tab right there. And this is a sample of the video on Instagram. This is a sample of the video on Instagram. This is a sample of... So that runs pretty well also. And we'll, t we'll check out Twitter also real quick. Let's see how long that takes to load. Not too shabby. Give it a second to catch up here. All right, well, that's taking a second there. But for the most part, not too bad. Let's go back to the top there. Yeah, it's taking a minute to load pictures, but not too bad, so. So overall, I think the uh, new Moto E is a solid phone. Uh, it has a really nice display, uh, vivid colors, IPS. It is 720, so it's a little bit lower resolution, but um, honestly, it looks really good still um, from just this uh, few minutes I've had with it. Uh, the build on here is pretty solid, although it is plastic, not a big deal there. Uh, the other things you're omitting are uh, wireless charging, which you know you can't quite expect in this price range, and uh, USB-C. I'm a little disappointed that this isn't USB-C, um, and then there's no fast charging. But uh, you can always get a fast charger and still probably be able to use that with this. Um, but those are my only cons so far with it, but I'll definitely be testing this out more and I will give you a full review of this phone uh, at a later date. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing and first impressions of the uh, new Moto E. Uh, stay tuned to the channel for more and uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more like this, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.